Hey, what's going on everyone? This is uh, Glenn Curtis here for your uh, week four videos of the 2010 NFL uh, schedule. Uh, just to recap, last week I went 11-5, and five, which I'm getting better, for a season total of 27-21. and 21. So I'm going to get started this week, all Sunday and Monday games. So to get started, I'm going to take the New York Jets over the Buffalo Bills. Um, not much to say here, Buffalo is still a poor team. Surprised how many points they got against uh, the uh, Pats last week, but I guess getting rid of Trent Edwards is the first key to their problem. But that shouldn't be enough to take over the Jets. After that, I'm going to take the Cincinnati Bengals over the Cleveland Browns. I was shocked that Cleveland did so well, so well against Bo uh, Baltimore last week, but should be no match for since he's... Uh, um, diversity on their team. Uh, after that, I'm going to take the close game of Seattle Seahawks over the St. Louis Rams. Uh, I was surprised that St. Louis beat Washington, and that almost made me pick them this week, but uh, I think the, vet the veteran in Matt Hasselbeck will uh, take this game over the rookie in Sam Bradford. Uh, after that, I'm going to take the New Orleans Saints over the Carolina Panthers. Not much to say here. New Orleans, the right Reggie Bush, but that shouldn't affect them at all against the 0-3 Panthers. And then I'm going to take the Pittsburgh Steelers over the Baltimore Ravens. Um, Pittsburgh is, uh, they're showing that, uh, that they're a team. You know, I shouldn't have uh, been so harsh on them in the earlier weeks. Uh, don't know how well they're going to do next week when Roethlisberger comes back, but uh, I'm thinking that they're going to be Probably a 12-win team this year, so should be a good win, good close win for uh, Pittsburgh on that one. Um, and then I'm going to then take the Tennessee Titans over the Denver Broncos. Um, Denver, not much to say here. Uh, I've always liked Tennessee in a lot of the games I've had so far this year, so I see no reason not to pick them in this one. Uh, and then I'm going to take the Green Bay Packers over the Detroit Lions. Uh, Green Bay. They made a lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes on Monday, but the Bears are a totally different team than Detroit is, so I don't think Detroit will be able to capitalize on their mistakes like uh, Chicago did last week. I'm then going to take the Atlanta Falcons over the San Francisco 49ers. I'm liking Atlanta. They're, uh, they're looking better than I expected this year, and they should continue to uh, play like that, especially against teams like San Fran. After that, I'm going to take the Indianapolis Colts over the Jacksonville Jaguars. I don't know what Jacksonville's doing by picking up Trent Edwards, but um, Peyton Manning, he'll do his thing again like he always does. I got no worries about that on that. Then I'm going to take the Houston Texans over the Oakland Raiders. Um, easy game. Houston's a good team. Oakland's not going to do anything this year. They have no potential whatsoever, I'd say, this year. After that, I'm going to take the... Um, the Eagles over the Washington Redskins. McNabb plays his old team for the first time this week, but Philly's just a better team. I think they're going to be a better team with Michael Vick this year than they were with Donovan McNabb last year. So I think his successor will have his will have his number in this one on this game. And then I'm going to take the San Diego Chargers over the Arizona Cardinals. San Diego. I'm going to call them, uh, they're what I would see a half-decent team. I'm surprised they lost to Seattle last week. But um, I don't think they'll have a problem with Arizona this week. They just need to, they've had a rough start of the season. They just need to get their game together. Uh, last Sunday night game, I'm going to take the Chicago Bears over the New York Giants. I liked, liked Chicago this week. Uh, they looked very good against the, um, the Green Bay Packers. Green Bay showed a lot of weaknesses in uh, Chicago did well on capitalizing on that and I think they should be able to do the same thing against uh, the Giants because Man Eli Manning's made a lot of mistakes already this year. And lastly our, our Monday night game is the New England Patriots over the Miami Dolphins. Um, Miami is kind of the half rate team of that division. They could win, they could lose, but I'd be very willing to give this game to New England. Uh, they probably learned from any mistakes they had last week seeing how they got 30 points scored on them by the worst team in the league, so they've probably been working hard this week. 
So yeah, I'm going to take the Pats over the Dolphins. Uh, so there are my picks for week four. Uh, if you have any, you know, have any comments, don't like, you like some games, don't like some games, you know, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you liked my video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, you know, it helps out all of us. And if you want to see more videos in the future, uh, always hit that subscribe button up above in uh, posting videos every week. Alright, so there's your week four picks, and I will see you guys next week.